to my channel hope you're all doing well so in today's video we're going to be discussing was university worth it so in today I have my guest Ianu hey. Ianu graduated last year from university and I am soon to be a recent graduate so we decided to talk about the educational aspect of university and was it worth us going yeah. to get that degree basically so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel because you want more of this, right? <laughs> it's going to be a series and hopefully you guys stay tuned and we might have more guests coming in to talk about their experience at university. So Yane, why did you choose the university you went to? Um, well, from the educational perspective, I chose the university I wanted to go to. First of all, because it was a Russell Group University. Um, what I did was I looked at the league table the complete union guide and I looked at the top 20 universities and then from that I looked at the ones that were Russell Group universities and those are the ones that I went to apply for. Obviously I looked at um, reviews as well and pictures online because there were some that were in the top but I just knew that I wouldn't like that university so um, I had to go to the universities as well to make sure that it was a place that I'd want to go to as well and then when it came to choosing the actual one I went to I had to like narrow it down to, okay which one is geographically better for me um, which one is cheaper which one has more sun because sun was a big factor for me like I really had to get down to the integrity but on the holistic basis it was based on the league table and which ones were also good universities um, for me as well it's very similar to what Yanni said I looked at the league tables for the course I wanted to do and then based on that did like the grades from A levels as well because that's what determines if you get in or yeah. not and then like is it a sunny or is it a rainy environment i didn't want somewhere that like rains a lot but the irony of it was i eventually went yeah, to your place is <laughs> i went to a place that rains a lot and has a lot of hills and all that stuff but um anyway my choice of uni is another story for another day i'm gonna do a different video on that because it changed finally and um so what did you study at uni i studied management with entrepreneurship and I studied pharmaceutical chemistry at uni. So, do you have a lot of universities that do your course? Or? No. Um, literally, when I first started applying for the subjects I wanted to do, um, I was only looking at business related subjects because I didn't actually know the course I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to do something in business. So, depending on the university I applied for, the course was kind of different. So, as a whole, the, as a whole they were all management based, but then some were like management of information science somewhere management straight and then the one that I actually went to was management and entrepreneurship. So yeah. So how how did you study? Like how did you how would you rate your course, the way it was taught to you? In terms of the way it was taught to me, I'd say it was average. I don't know. I feel like it's the same as any other university in the sense that um, you have your lectures, they have a PowerPoint, they speak about it and then you go and you read your books. Some lecturers, you could see that they were very pa passionate about the subject and they went the extra mile to make sure, you know, people actually understood that they do examples in classes and they'd actually, you know, interact, ask questions, um, use different resources to make it more interactive and make sure we actually understood. But as a whole, in general, I'd say it's not different. It was no different from any other university in the sense that it's just, you know, the slides in a PowerPoint and they just read it to you, just speak and then that's it, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's sort of the same, I think. Some, un some lecturers will just regurgitate what's on the PowerPoint yeah. um, and then you have the resources on, on Unilearn Blackboard yeah. and so you can check it out there. But for my course especially, I think you had to go to the lectures because um, the way chemistry is and science is, it's like math. You can't really learn maths, you have to write it, like solve maths. So you have to be there to um, fully understand what they're saying. And some lecturers will add some stuff that wasn't on there. So if you want to learn more or are keen to like, understand the concept, it would be better for you to go to the lecture. Um, and I think like in first year as well, you have a lot of like materials handed out to you. I think some some of our lectures printed out the slides and stuff. Yes, some did as well. Us. So yeah. Um, how was your time like at uni, like studying? First year, second year, third year. Um, how was it? Yeah. So first year, first year, first semester, I was on it. Like after a class or a lecture, I'd go to the library. 
I'd read up on the notes from that I wrote in class, I'd read the chapter that they recommended, I'd make notes on that, I'd go back to the PowerPoint, like I was proper on it like in terms of reading everything because I bought all the textbooks um, for You're my subjects. You're a very keen like, student. Yeah, but it was, I bought it on slugbooks.com by the way because they were very cheap, like cheaper than the actual price that right. other people get it. So the price wasn't an issue but um, yes, yeah, so that's what I did in first year, like I, you know, went back after each lecture and actually studied the chapter and made sure I understood and made notes on that as well. Mm. Um, but then as I got on in the year and second year and third year, um, I didn't bother buying the textbooks only because I realised that the majority were in the library already or I could get them online. Um, mm. So I didn't bother buying textbooks anymore. And my studying wasn't always in the library as well because I realised for me personally, I work better at home but I think part Same. of it had to do with Same. my personal anxiety issues and stuff like being in public environments yeah so, I work better at home yeah I work better at home because I can just concentrate I don't have my friends around me distracting me like I could just do yeah, the work so yeah. I studied more in my room um, which actually works for me I think it depends on you as an individual yeah. some people it's library some people it's in your room I think you also find that out when you're doing what yeah, works best for you work what's best for you as you yeah. go along yeah. yeah and then I use my laptop a lot to um, to work as well yeah. um, and the lecture notes on blackboard as well I use those yeah. so yeah what about final year how is final year final year for me um, there wasn't much studying in the sense that a lot of them were coursework based a lot of the modules had been coursework based especially yeah. A lot of the modules I had were coursework based, especially in my last semester in third year. It was like all coursework and then also my dissertation, so I didn't really need to study per se. It was more about just looking over my notes and then when it came to doing my coursework, referring back to that, into it. Um, so I didn't really need to study that much. I think in the first semester though, there were a few um, exam based modules. But again, I use the same concept that I used in second year, where it's just reading the lecture notes, asking for help when needed. Advising with my friends helped a lot as well. Like when it came to um, revision, we'd ask each other questions, we'd write in flashcards. I, th I think with final year, it's very important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, we bounce off each other. I think it's good to have like, a study group that can just notice each other and work with when it comes to mm -hmm. exams because mm -hmm. they're going to help you. So, yeah. Sorry guys, the lighting is going to be a bit yeah. off because we're shooting in natural light. But um, for me, when it was like, first year was chilled, like it was more like A-level stuff all over again. It was chilled. You you knew like, you got into the like swing of things, go to lecture, come back, eat, yeah. chat with your friends. Like there was a lot of chatting and like we used to explore a lot, like yeah. visit each other and stuff in first year. Yeah. Um, and for me, Although first year doesn't count in the UK, um, but because I wanted to go on placement, my course was like a sandwich course, and so I needed to get 60% in my first year to be able to do a placement. Um, and that's because you want employers to see you as a serious student. You want them to employ you and know that you do the job when you get into like, the company and stuff. And so yeah, I had to work a, a little bit more than um, others in first year and I wanted to prove something to myself again I'll tell you the story later on in another video and then second year it was a lot harder well it was building on with complex more complex stuff so we had to like go to library a bit more I was studying like more at home as well because I'm a home person like I said um, I only went to library if I need to check out a textbook or if I needed help with the librarians and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, and also you get into the swing of how do you study, how do you revise. Um, and then my placement year was, uh, I, I enjoyed my placement year more because it was practical. You were on the job learning as you went along. Um, and then final year, I think, develop a study group. I, that's what I eventually did. We had a study group that you can talk to and you can ask questions, bounce ideas off each other, yeah. solve problems together. Because they'll know stuff you don't know. Yeah, yeah, they'll understand something better than you yeah. might. Or you might not even understand this module completely, yeah. but someone else can and they break it down to you in your... Like, literally, um, one exam that I had the following day, I just went to the library and saw some friends that were in my course yeah, yeah. and that night they explained something that I just couldn't get and it came up in the exam and yeah. I understood what to do yeah. but I wouldn't have if I it didn't clicks, come to that study. It clicks, yeah. 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 
so yeah. they're very helpful. Um, yes, final year I, I had a lot of library that I started going to the library a little bit more because then of course that's when you have your study groups yeah. and stuff and then the lecturers are there for you in final year you have your project so you have your supervisor that you can go to as well and yeah. ask questions um, and I think final year is all about getting your mindset right <laughs> because before I got to final year I was very scared of final year because I knew dissertations and it's it's my last year I have to make it count yeah. kind of thing and so um, when you get to final year just tune your mind I knew that from the get-go I had to be studying like going over my lecture notes almost every day especially the ones that I didn't understand I went through them more because I mean that's the hardest stuff it's better to get the hardest stuff out of the way before the easy stuff especially when it came to exam and for me it was 75% exam 25% test and all of that so the bulk of it was exams so I had yeah. to study more of my books and mm. that's when I used more of the textbooks as well in the library mm. in, in my final year yeah. see I think I had it a bit easy because it was just coursework based yeah, and coursework I, is my strongest I didn't, I area didn't. but to write I had to, I had to lecturers would reference the their textbooks so you go to the textbook and yeah. like understand you have to understand if you right. don't understand huh I think I just relied on the PowerPoints. Like, yeah. my third year was busy as a whole because I did an um, internship as well. Right. So sometimes I couldn't go to lectures, but because everything was online and because it was, you know, yeah. coursework based, Stop it online. kind of worked in my favour. <laughs> but obviously, we'd always recommend going to all your go lectures, to your lectures because you can kind of ask the lecturer questions. Like, I literally in, in final year, like if I didn't understand something, my hand is up. I'm asking you or I'm challenging you based on that thing that you just said. So that like I can understand so this is my last year to make use of you. It's true. So yeah, I'm gonna ask if I if it doesn't make sense to me, I'm gonna ask you like yeah. but that doesn't add up to that. Like and the lecturers are happy for you. Sometimes you can see in their face like <laughs> but they're happy to dissect it for you as well, yeah. even after the lecture you can go to them um, and they can answer your questions. Yeah. Do you think your uni provided you with enough resources? Um, I think for they your did, yeah definitely. As with any uni, it's about what you make with what they give you. Like it's not like A levels where they literally Swing. give it to you in yeah. the screen, like yeah. take this, read this, read that. Like the resources are there but you have to make the effort to, you know, go there and find them and use them. Um, I think in terms of careers, they had a lot of career fairs, um, they had a business clinic for um, those who wanted to start businesses and wanted you know, advice. They had a lot of career events and a lot of talks, especially mm -hmm. the business societies as well, mm -hmm. and just the lecturers in general. Some of my modules, they brought in people like you know on a weekly basis to talk to us, so that was helpful yeah. as well. Um, in terms of the facilities, we had our own business space in terms of where we could go to read um, and everything, so that was good as well. The lecturers were very helpful. The teachers were. I didn't really go to my classes that much, but when I did go, <laughs> they were helpful as well. Um, my lecturer, make some use of them, your nine grand and yeah, go. <laughs> it's true. Make make use of it. I maybe maybe in first that year, maybe. but that's my own anxiety issues again. But you know, you don't have anxiety, go for it. Um, and my lecturers as well. Like I think from second year, I had some of the same lecturers that yeah. I had, so they knew me. So it was easier to go to them for advice, and because they liked me as well. You know, you know when a lecturer likes you, they want to give you a bit more help than they do other yeah. students. So <laughs> sometimes I got that extra kind of information yeah. and help yeah. um, because I made friends with my lecturers. It's not even kissing up in uni. It's like yeah, it's you're not just kissing up. You're, making the most you're of showing it. Like, that no you're one sees it like yeah, that. you're yeah. showing that you actually enjoy and you're and enthusiastic you value. and you value yeah. because the different lecturers as well do different topics and yeah. different aspects that they like so if you're coming to them it's more like oh she's interested exactly in what so i'm doing so i want to help you more like come on so, who doesn't want to impact yeah. knowledge on so i definitely made friends with my, te um, my lecturers and it helped it helped because they gave me the help that i needed so. I, I think um, for me, the, if I had to assess the resources, I think the resources were there when it comes to library, the equipment, the computer, it was there for you to use. You, you are paying to be there, so they're going to give you everything that you can use to maximise your time there. Um, and yeah, if you need help, they, they were there to help you. We had job fairs, career fairs, people that every Mondays we had this lady that was specifically at my school. 
so not just not my uni now I'm talking about my department my school of applied science she was there to help you when it comes to job applications CV um, and lecturers as well will help you when it comes to things like that if you need referencing you you should be there and show them that um, I am here because I want to be here and and, and so if you if you develop a relationship with your lecturers, they can give you references easily, they can tell you what, what places to go to to look for the jobs or things like that or if they know, it's all about networking and, yeah, networking and creating a community for yourself. And I don't know if your uni had um, one, but my uni we also had a personal tutor yeah. that was yeah, given to us from the first year. And luckily, personal my personal tutor was actually the head of the entrepreneurship wow. department. So I got that kind of extra. Yes. I didn't make the most use of him, like yeah. I probably should have looking back, because he still did say that he'd give me an amazing recommendation and everything, but I feel like I could have utilised him a bit more a bit in terms more. of helping my modules. I, I think I was just a bit too shy to like reach out to him, but definitely yeah. you get one, make the most of them too, because they're there to help you throughout your three years or four years yeah, okay. in uni. Really. And someone said to me that you have to compare your school, like the course you're doing, compare every school that does that course in, in your country, compare the facilities, what they're giving you, the course, the, the way it's been delivered, compare it and then compare yourself to the global world as well because you're competing with these people for jobs when you come out. And it made sense. Was uni worth the price for the education? aspect was it worth the price? For the education I'd say it depends on what your intention was for going to uni and I say that for example with me I knew that I wanted to go there so I, I could gain more information um, to do with you know business and entrepreneurship to help me in the future. In that aspect I'd kind of say no because I feel like the stuff that I learned I could have found out online and a lot of the stuff I already knew but university was just kind of supplementary but then in terms of um, using uni to help you, you know, um, build connections and stuff, I think it was helpful because some of the stuff that I learned, it's like I wouldn't have gone out of my way to learn it, but mm -hmm. because they told me, I found out, okay, it's actually quite useful. So in that aspect, it was worth it because I found out extra stuff that I wouldn't have found out or thought to find out if I didn't go to uni. And again, as I said before, um, they brought in a lot of people that were already in business so um, to speak to us and that helped us all just being able to you know see them and we also had many networking opportunities for people who meet there as well help you um, you know because say I want to start a business and I need someone who's good at graphic designing and then I was roommates with someone who was a graphic designer I can call them up and be like hey yeah. I've got this so those kind of connections are very helpful as well I'd say if you are going to uni because um, where you want to go requires it, then yes, it's worth it no matter what because you need to go to uni. Like, you're going to be a doctor, um, no matter of experience, you need to actually go and you know understand everything. Yeah. So I think it depends on what you, um, your, what profession you're going into, and what you want to get out of uni if it is worth it or not. So it's a yes and no. It's a yes, yeah, it's a yeah, so for the money aspect, no, I don't think it's worth it because now I'm in fifty thousand pounds worth of debt, and someone said like. You have too much knowledge and so much debt. So I don't think the knowledge for the money, no. Because you can also, there are certain things you can learn online. Courses. Yeah, there are there. certain courses online. And yeah, for a certificate you get to do whatever you want to do. Yeah. It depends on what you want to do as well. Like, if you want to do a research degree, like you have to go to uni to be able to do a research. Because if you don't go to uni, you don't know what research you eventually want to do. It's when you go to uni, you streamline it to what you want to do. Um, and yeah, for the opportunity aspect, I think it's worth it because you get to meet different people from your church, from um, your yeah. local community, from societies yeah. that you meet and from um, even even just meeting people on a day to day at uni, you bump into people, people you're sitting next to in the library so often, you become friends with them and yeah. you develop that network. With your lecturers as well, you develop that network, they can help you um, access different places that you might not have thought of as well. Um, and then also your university carries a name when you go out. Like, yeah. you're from this university, okay, we'll look into you and stuff like that. Whatever path you decide to go on in life, it will teach you and equip you for what you need for the next step. So you might not go to uni, you might do an apprenticeship, so you're learning, making money, um, and practicing as you go along yeah. and that's that's your path in life to get to where you need to go to if you want to do photography you might be able to do some courses online exactly. um, 
to develop a skill. Recommend someone else to go to uni? Would you um, encourage? Them? I'd say yes. If you feel like university is what is required for the next step in your life, yeah. I'd say definitely yes. Don't be afraid. I was definitely afraid. I used to think, okay, I don't know if I should go to university because I don't think I'm gonna, you know, do well. I don't think I'm that smart, or I don't think I'll make friends, or I don't think. Um, you know, I'll be able to stand all the different kind of things that university entails and make my faithful stand, like all those kind of different things. But obviously, um, God showed me that I could do it. Um, I came out, you know, with an amazing qualification. I came out with good friends. I came out stronger in my faith than I was before. Um, so definitely, I'd recommend it for anyone who wants to go. I'd say it's not the only way to get to where you need to go. Like, as we said, there are apprenticeships, there are courses online, there are different things you can do. Um, to get to where you want to do, but I'd say research first, see what it is you want to do and then see what is needed to get there before you make that decision. I, I agree with yeah. you, and then look at the options you have Definitely. and see see what, even if you don't like your uni, if you're in uni right now, if you don't like it, just think of it as it's a time in your life, you yeah. get that degree because education can never be taken away from you. Once you have exactly. it, it's in here, no one's going to take it away from you. So even if you're not practicing with your degree, you still have that knowledge yeah. in your mind and you can eventually you never know where life will take you eventually and you can eventually need it in the future mm -hmm. so you you might decide you want to do something else that's fine but you have that knowledge um and it's yeah it's it's a value it's a skill it's it's you it's an investment into, yeah it's an investment into your life um and so if you had to <laughs> yeah that's why it costs so much um but if you had to describe you in one word what would you Uni in one word, in terms of the education aspect, I'd yeah. say enlightening. Okay. <laughs> um, if I had to describe the education aspect of uni in one word, I would say opportunity. And yeah. Alright guys, so we're done with the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And also, Yanni, where can we find you? So you can find me on um, Instagram, Twitter. Um, all the information will be down below and I also have you know other projects that I'm working on that you can find out more about down below as well so yeah all right and we'll see you guys later bye, bye.